Wednesday by Chris Webby. Christian Webster came up in Norwalk, Connecticut. He fell in love with rap at a young age and started rapping at 11 years old. He was influenced by DMX, Eminem, Ludacris, Tech 9 Exhibit, Dre, and Snoop, just to name a few. He attended Hofstra University and gained a buzz at frat houses for freestyling. He was kicked out and banned from the school after a failed robbery. Throughout the years, he's put out 14 projects, and Wednesday is his latest. How do we feel about it? Yo. <laughs> How you feel about it, man? Yo. I'm going to say it like I've been saying. How hot have I not heard about this guy, man? How have we not heard about him? Is it just me or is it just... I mean, I had never heard about him. And he's been on Sway more than once, too. Yeah. And that's crazy. Yo, immediately when I turned this on, Raw Thoughts, I sent you that that photo. My phone just was just burning hot, yo. I'm just like, man, this dude came in just swinging, like for real. Um, I remember when you first you know, uh, sent me the freestyle on Sway. I was like, okay, this dude was pretty nice. But man, hearing Raw Thoughts just... It's not like it's nothing new or anything. We've heard, you know, people like, for example, Eminem go in on people on the track or anything. But I think it was just uh, his own authenticity of it. It's just the way he was just going in at each, you know, topic or person. You can tell that he was really about it. It wasn't just a gimmick just to get your attention. No, he really meant everything he said. And that's what I loved about it. Um, Friend Like Me was dope. Uh, rookie of the year really caught me off guard because I was just like, yo, he opened up with a Nintendo 64 reference and talking about Ocarina of Time. I was like, yo, okay, I'm already hooked. And Dazed and Confused, I was just like, yo, this is just a dope blend of everything. Like, what I really like about this project is like each tr- each track, he really he really showed how versatile he really was. Like, he'll still go in with heavy with the wordplay and everything like that. But then you'll get a track like, um, uh, I think it was Call On Me or Check The Vibe, the one with kind of like the Caribbean kind of feel to it. And it's just like, you know, it, it really got me to see like, okay, not only he can just go in with the bars, but he can switch it up and, you know, go for a kind of dancey or commercial tune as well. Um, Middle Ground was real dope. Slow Down with Annoy it has to be one of my favorite tracks on the album. Just how they both just went in so quickly, man, at it. I wanted more. I wanted them to keep on going. Uh, the Stick Up was real dope. Call On Me was cool. Twist Again was dope. Weirdo, I thought was a really good one. Uh, Connect, I I love that one. I don't know what it is about it. There's a certain bar in there he was talking about. I can't really remember. I think it was, uh, he made a reference to the White Walkers on Game of Thrones and then twisted it to uh, Breaking Bad. I didn't catch it because I didn't watch either show. Because he was like, um, something about the White Walkers' eyes, they blew as something uh i forgot it was just about the way he cooked it in yeah 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 Yeah. and it was just a dope reference and i just like all the references he used throughout the whole project uh microphone killer was just really dope um wild things i thought that was great nightcrawler was a little all right universal life was cool i really liked little man and campfire i thought was a dope way to go out but overall I, i thought it was a well for me at least a well thought about our introduction i know he has a lot of other projects and he's been around for a minute but um i gave it an a minus man i thought it was amazing word yo when i uh first you know we first came across him because of this, the most recent sway freestyle sorry we're late but <laughs> <laughs> you know raw thoughts came on and i was immediately like yeah this is what i fuck with i like people to talk about real shit Mm -hmm. they're talking about you know hey hillary clinton you could be their plus one you know i I love that yeah yeah because she needs to go down with everybody (laughs) else i don't fuck with the clintons uh but anyway dope song friend like me i love the 90s references yeah in this album yeah yeah, because a friend like me is like aladdin he's kind of using a aladdin yeah 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 uh rookie of the year is one of those dope songs days and confused was cool middle ground if you haven't heard eminem's rock bottom from uh, the March, um, from the Slim Shady LP, it's pretty much the same beat. You kind of use the melody from the beat and yeah. use the same scheme for the hook and some of the bars. Right. I don't want to compare the two songs. I just want to say that this song is actually good because Rock Bottom is one of my favorite Eminem songs. So I don't want to compare it. Right. Uh, slow down. As soon as I heard Annoyed come in, I, I was. Every time if you, you don't annoyed, know who Annoyed is, man. Yo, go just, check him just out. Just go fucking eat a Tod Pod. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and I love before Jitter on the track came in, 
He it had to select your player. Yeah, you know, yeah, quick. yeah. It was dope. I was yeah. just like, yo, that's <laughs> fucking fire, yo. Uh, the set on the stick up was cool. Calling me was cool. Check the vibe was cool. Twist up again was cool. Weirdo with Justina Valentine. Wish she would have let her rap. Yeah. Oh, she, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's right. from Wild and Out, right? Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, right. She actually got some bars. She could sing a little bit. Yeah. She got a couple of dope songs on um on on the joint too on like iTunes and stuff. Okay. Uh, the connect was cool. Microphone killer was really dope. Yeah. Wild things. I wasn't a huge fan of that song. University of Life is just some real shit. Yeah. Little man was cool and campfire was cool. Yeah. You know uh. I, I always like hearing people talk about like their struggle and their balance of trying to do the music, music thing. therapy and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I just like that type of stuff. I, I do feel like the album was a little too long. I agree. I felt like he could have cut a couple songs off and, and probably got a higher grade from me, man. Mm-hmm. But I give it a B. I think it's dope. Okay. It's dope as fuck, actually. Yeah, really is. I enjoy it's it. It's not one of the grades we have, though. Yeah, I, I I can't wait to like just go back and look at more of his projects. And I guess he's doing uh, dropping a project every Wednesday, so that's pretty dope, man. Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep keep people posted on what what Chris Webby's doing. Uh, I do want to say uh, he's really dope, really dope flow. He has really dope punchlines. I really like that about him. And I, I just like the passion in his voice right. when he's yeah. rapping. Yeah, I think that's key because he has a real passion when it comes to his raps. He's like a PG Eminem, and and when I say that, I, I get what like you he's mean. He's not super angry. Yeah, like Eminem. Yeah, he says something about slashing somebody's dope, but he's not as like crazy as Eminem. I is. feel you on that. Right. So it's just like it's it's dope. Right. right. Definitely check it out. Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? Then check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned.